Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about maybe the coolest base gadget I've ever seen. Can you guys see this? It's a, well, let me get, let me get to it. Let me take my t-shirt off. I've got the tools, I've got the Allen wrenches, I've got the, the, the foam, I've got the thing. This could be the coolest base gadget that I've ever seen. I'm yet to try it out, that's what I'm gonna do on this video, and I'm gonna talk about exactly what it is as well. And I'm gonna fit it to this little beast, which is my Moulon um, P-Base. It used to be a Moulon, but I knocked half the, uh, half the logo off as I got it up out of the case. Great one, Scott. If you've not seen one of these before, or you're wondering what one is, let me just put this light on. And then I'm going to be also talking about using sponge with your bases and fitting it under the strings and stuff like that because essentially that's what this is a posh version of sponge and I'm sure that you might have heard that you know guys a lot of the R&B Motown style players back in the day used to use foam under their strings okay so they used to fit it under here put it under the bridge and what this does is that it really condenses the frequency sp response of the string so it's not going it's really really condensed and because of that it sits in the mix of the band really nicely that's that's why people use it now I'm not sure why it was invented back in the day um, it was definitely if you look at an old Fender P bass with the it has the um, like a chrome guard over here traditionally on the inside of those there would be string dampeners on there so it comes from that and then people have kind of adapted it along the way now a friend of mine um, gave Elio Martina Elio Martina um, gave me this a couple of weeks ago and it's his gadget that he's invented that mutes the strings oops replicates the foam thing but in a more controllable way so you can and it's always under the bridge okay so you retrofit it to the base you have it all you can have it all the way off you can have it semi on or all the way on that sounds a bit rude doesn't it if i can fit this anybody can fit it and then obviously we're going to have a listen to what it sounds like with it on i've also got some sponge here because i get asked a ton about what i what sponge i use normally people We'll use this type of thing, which is like a Brillo thing for washing the... Uh, what you do is you cut it up with some scissors, obviously remove that harsh bit there, and then slot it under the strings. Uh, but I actually prefer this. If this one's called... I don't know if you get the guys get this in the States, but you'll get something like it. It's called Minky Extra Thick Sponge Wipes. And I, I'm so geeky, I've kind of experimented with different sponges under the strings and I always prefer the sound that I get from these and the great thing about these extra thick sponges is that you don't have to like double them or over or anything like that if you can see what I'll do is I'll hold this up you can see that it actually fits under the strings perfectly it kind of gives you the exact amount of tension under the strings that you're going to want like obviously you don't put the whole thing under you know well you could but that'd be very muted so before we do anything We've just got to loosen the strings off. And for anybody that's wondering, I've got, I think I've got Diodario Chromes on this. Check that that's going to fit. Okay, so you guys are going to want to see this. So, okay, so according to the instructions, so there you can see I've just slotted it under. According to the instructions, you need to get it back as far as it will go here. And then this G string one here, you've got to put it into position one. Okay, so that's position one. Now there's th three positions. Off, on, super on. I just need it touching the G-string there. So obviously you want some tension there for that. And then I'm gonna have to move these here by using these little gubbins. Put that there, like so. I'll kind of just slot it into this corner here and I'll know that that's in the right position. I'm gonna peel off the tape here. Yep, put that underneath there. Okay, I'll move that so it's just on there. It's completely out of tune, so let's tune it up and then see where we're at with it. Elio, 
I do apologize if I've just completely butchered the fitting of that. Can you see that? That is it totally off. You can see it's not touching the strings there. Oh, hang on. That's the little G string was touching, okay. I'm guessing you want it when it's off, you want it just a snadge away. Whatever a snadge is, what's a snadge? Let me know in the comments what a snadge is. Don't be rude. I think it's something that you'd have to fiddle with to get the settings that you want. But here is here's the, just so you can see, what's going on. So that's it completely off. Hello, that's it completely off. Then you do this and you get it on, that's position one. So as you'll see, check it out. That's off. That's on position one. And then next one, position two. And position zero, position off is obviously, it's off. Position one is slightly on. Make a slight difference. Now, obviously, depending on your needs, you can make position one slightly more on. And then position two, even more. If I turn the tone all the way up, this is all the way off. Position one. Position, no, that was position zero. Position one. Position all the way on. Three. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. One, two, three. Oh, that, there is this kind of extra position as well. Right? Okay, so what about the sponge though? Because if you can't get one of the things that Elio has, has produced, you can still get that vibe with sponge. People have been doing it for years. Um, I'm just gonna show you how I use mine and the vibe it gets, okay? So let me get some sponge and the scissors. I'll do that on this base because obviously that base has now got one of them things on. So all we need to do is get this little gubbins. As I said, about an inch, maybe not even an inch. And then you just get it and you Push it under the strings. And there you go. Let's plug it in. Oh, this is so good. Nice bass as well. If I just put the just all neck pick up on. So that's gonna be a little bit more P bassy. Yeah, so you can get that similar kind of vibe by using sponge like that. You'll have seen a ton of players doing it before. The cool thing about Elio's one, okay, this, is that it's obviously, you've got this, you can switch it on and off. <laughs> and there's somewhere in between as well. So that's the cool thing about this system, is it's adjustable on the fly. Um, this system, if you can call it a system, this sponge, it's either in or out, right? So, and definitely experiment with the thicknesses and the densities that you're using of that foam as well, because it does make a difference. Um, it does 
sound really cool. It's a really. vibe sorry I should basically just never make any bass videos after I've been sitting at a computer for five hours which I've just been doing before making this video because when I pick up a bass I just want to go crazy anyway guys Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hey, if you've not been over to the website yet, make sure you go over to scottsbassessons.com because we've just launched a brand new spanky new website, which looks beautiful. It'd be wicked if you go and check it out. Uh, it has been a monstrous amount of work. That's actually an understatement because we've built the entire platform from the ground up. But for the first time, you'll be able to see everything that's on there. It's a crazy amount of stuff and we're adding new stuff all the time. So go check it out, scottsbassessons.com um, and take a 14 day free trial. It's a completely new opportunity for guys like you to practice, well not practice, but to learn and study from the best bass educators on the planet from the comfort of your own home. So go check it out, scottsbassessons.com and make sure you like and subscribe this channel as well because then you'll get notified, especially if you've got your notif notifications switched on, ding, um, when I release a brand new video, which I do every week, if not more than once a week sometimes. Anyway, take it easy guys, and I'll see you in the shed. Whoa, 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 where are you going? If you haven't subscribed to the Scots Bass Essence channel yet here on YouTube, click the link, subscribe. I release two videos like this every single week. You can also check out our other videos over there. And if you've not checked out scotsbassessence.com membership, check it out. You can grab your 14 day free trial over there.